So today we've got a whole stack of young people coming into BJL and they're getting a sense of what it's like to work in an authentic advertising environment and that's something you can't really teach in the classroom. You can actually talk about what it's like to be working in an agency but actually coming in through the doors, getting a sense of the the furniture, getting a sense of the atmosphere, meeting the staff, just gives a really authentic experience of what it's like to work in this sort of agency environment and actually just literally going through the doors it allows people to think well actually I could do this. Uh, the Metrolink stuff, I, I really enjoyed that and I think that my creative ideas could help, you know I've got a very um, mind. I really want to get an insight of the creative industry and I'm really excited to be in this professional environment, it's just giving ideas from one side to the other, there's so much going on around here. The evolving workplace has meant that there are so many exciting possibilities out there that children don't necessarily see in a classroom. Then we got given a presentation about how the process works and how the actual idea, the initial idea, actually comes to life in adverts. Whilst it's important to create special and exciting places inside the classroom, it's also really important that we can, that children can actually see beyond the classroom walls and the Ideas Foundation and the Northwest Common Creative Consortium allow me to do that and they give me the tools so that I can do it quickly as well. It prepares them for industry, especially in Manchester where we are, there are so many media jobs at the moment and being created. They can see what uh, their workplace might be like and the kind of jobs that they probably don't know exist um, and that they could go into and it's kind of really showing how they can channel their creativity. Today we have been doing some warm-up activities, so like um, guessing brands using emojis or like guessing logos with like the name taken out. Well BJL have a history in um, having apprenticeships. Um, they've done it for years, they've got a few that have done really well, they've done really successful. Jack, who's doing a session with me today, he started out as an apprentice. There's Sean, who I've worked with on our team, who started here when he was 16. He's doing so well, he's, you know, he started his career at BJL and it's just been something that we really benefit from and we think it's great to have that link with the community. I am very inspired by the young people here today and one of the surprising factors for me is that they are so easy to talk to and to connect with. And they've even been taking photos for me. The 17 global goals are really important for everyone because they address complex issues that people and planet face. And if we don't all work to the same agenda and to the same goals, we cannot make progress. And out of the two days I just think like it's been like a creative experience, you know, something different. And it's given me a better insight into like the industry of what you can go into. But yesterday I learned that um, the different teams and like all the different people that like, go into creating like a product that like, I never thought that like, there was that many people um, involved. I just thought like it was a couple of people in like a, a room but it's like hundreds and hundreds so that gives you like a better insight and like obviously when you go for a job that means like going to have a better idea of what you can do. We've been able to see them grow and develop over their time here, so they're much quicker at being able to pick up a brief, understanding what the various elements to creating a persuasive advertisement is. Uh, they're much more able to understand and be aware of brand awareness and how to um, sell a product. There's so far we've learned that there's structures between this advertising thing so there's like, it's done in parts. Of course every advert they'll see from now on, they'll start to think, I maybe wonder what the strategy was behind that. Or they'll see a creative idea and they'll try and work out um, how they've done it. Or they'll, they might even see an ad on Facebook and then see an ad outside and just being like, oh, that's, you know, that's just, I'm being targeted here by this brand and just be thinking a little bit more objectively about uh, advertising the world around them. I think this two-day programme is absolutely vital. In recent years, the government have axed work experience and I think it was a terrible shame. I think that the students get so much out of work experience and I think that we're incredibly privileged that because of our partnership we can continue to give students this experience. It's just a great shame that that's only two days. So we want people to engage with it, we want people to talk about it, we want people to be aware of what the campaign is about and what it's trying to do. So the Ideas Foundation is a charity. Um, we care deeply about education, we care deeply about trying to tackle inequality. We're working with students who are in some situations facing poverty. So what we want to be doing as an organisation is to be trying to improve the lives of, of the people that we work with. And so the Global Sustainable Development Goals give us a framework for looking at those issues, whether it's mental health, whether it's um, 
the sustainable cities going through. A lot of the, the goals actually align with what the values of the Ideas Foundation are as well. And we think that they're important for young people. We want young people to be activists. We want young people to be campaigning. And probably the most important campaign that we've got at the moment is about saving the planet. So they've basically done every single role in the agency in two days time and put together presentations at the end of it. Um, they've been absolutely excellent in doing that, to be honest with you.